Hi everyone, welcome back to Nurses Off Duty. As you can see, we're, well, not we, I am at a brand new setting. I'm actually home. I'm, um, I just wanted to come on today and um, share with you a little bit of stuff that's been going on. Um, Addie is out in an assignment. She took an assignment, so she's off now. She's in another state actually. And so I'm here by myself. So. To, um, for this week we were planning that we we're gonna you know she left last week so we were gonna do a video this week and upload it well guess what guys L life happened Addie's having some um, technical issues the the place that she's staying is having um, what do you call it internet issues the internet is buffering and we were trying to Skype and do some um, some remote access video but that's not happening and so um, like nursing we have to just adapt to the situation and just move on and see what we can do diff differently and this is why I am here alone and trying to make a video to explain what's going on I'm outside guys and so you can hear nature just the birds in the background and guys guess what I need to hear that today I need to be out in nature because I haven't been feeling well myself because Addie was depending on me to help her with this transition and so we can make the video happen was well, guess what i was sick i was down for four days straight i was down and so we just couldn't make this video for uh, the video that we were planning guys we had a beautiful first year nurse that was um going to be interviewed um i think she's two months away from being a nurse for one year so we were going to interview her and talk about her transition from um, student to nursing because it's fresh in her mind because she's still going through it and we were going to talk about some barriers that she faced um, in her first year of nursing and so forth and so on and um, well that didn't happen because I got sick and this is life you see what happened I mean we just have to adopt and we just have to go with the flow and not take anything too seriously guys and so um, I don't want to make this video too long but I do want to thank our um, subscribers guys guess what we are growing oh my god the response has been so overwhelming we have so much comments and we are guys we are actually answering to the comments yes we are but uh, I don't know if we expected so many comments and so it's getting a little bit overwhelming but you know what that's okay um, I want to take time out and I want to talk about I want to talk to um, people and persons that are thinking about coming into the nursing profession and as well as nurses LPN and RN who wants to pursue a higher degree a higher certification those are the people that I'm going to address today um, I have been in nursing for over 20 years over 20 years um, to be fact I think it's 21 years 22 years somewhere around there my brain get foggy I can't remember now and and so I think I have a lot of experience and I can talk and a lot of issues when it comes to nursing and I'm going to talk about my own experience about the nursing profession and I want to um, talk about my advocacy for the profession of nursing um, I'm a number one advocate for the nursing profession I you know my niece is a nurse because I advocated for her to you know she had she was shown a little bit of interest and of course I advocated big time for her to get in the nursing profession and so I want to continue that trend to advocate strangers to get into the nursing profession um, guys if you do the research the nursing profession is at an all-time shortage we are so short in nursing and do the research please if you do if you see the projection in the coming years it's going to be even shorter in the nursing profession and so I think that as a nurse I have to advocate for nursing and get new people on board and so you know yes there is bad thing in nursing there's bad things I think that goes on in every profession so this is why I don't want to dissuade anybody from the nursing profession at all but what I do want to make very clear is that the nursing profession is a profession you're taking care of people you have to deal with families these are serious issues guys and so this is why I don't want somebody coming into nursing because they see these nurses on TikTok and Instagram and they're showing this lavish lifestyle and that they're getting so much money from nursing yes you do get great reward for working hard in nursing yes but it's not an easy profession 
you know it's not as easy as they want to make it seem no there is challenging challenges situation in the nursing profession especially when you're working with patients who are sick and so this is what I want to um, make my point come across um, for the for anyone that want to enter this profession of nursing you have to take it seriously it's a serious profession um, I would tell anybody that wants to do a little bit of research if you want to go to a particular school and you're not sure about um, you know if you're registered or licensed call the state board call your state board and ask them you know directly is I, I'm thinking about going to this particular school are they registered are they licensed do they have the qualifications and they will let you know I've called the state board of nursing and a couple of schools that my niece was trying to get into and to ask them and of course I got my answers and I was able to get her into a um, which is the same school I went which is our local um, um, community college you know and one of the reasons why I advocated for her to go to the local community college it was cheaper you know what I mean some of these private um, nursing school are charging a harm on a leg when you can um, just wait for your um, local community college now getting into the community college now that the, the challenges with that is the number of students that they can get in um, per semester sometimes they can only take 20 to 30 patients um, students you know and so you know you can't wait and so you get into another um, school or another program and that's perfectly fine all I'm trying to say is just to make sure that your pro your program is legitimate when it comes to clinical work that's one of the big thing guys you cannot graduate nursing school without doing some type of clinical skills now they do have um, sometimes the clinical skills are broken down in two areas you have your direct your direct care which is hands-on clinical skill and you have your simulation labs so sometimes you can do a couple hours in the simulation lab sometimes you can do a um, couple hours in the direct care clinical skills but you you would have to check your um, your state regulatory board on that to see um, what is um, what is the legitimate way in that area but you cannot um, graduate nursing school without going to clinicals there is just no way yes I mean a matter of fact you depend on your clinical skills your clinical experience to transition you over to being a professional nurse without that clinical without that clinical experience as a nurse transition to a professional nurse is going to be very difficult it's difficult when you do it the right way and you do your all your clinical skills it is difficult when you go and do it the right way to transition over to a professional nurse just imagine you have no clinical skills you don't you didn't go to the right school and now you're going to try to transition into the profession of nursing so all I'm saying that is yes I advocate for nurses absolutely I want nurses because guess what we are getting older our generation is getting older if I don't advocate for nursing when I get older who is going to take care of me so of course I want to advocate for good nurses and they are very good schools they're reputable schools out there just do your research so Addie and I are trying to try to start this program where we we become mentor for guys real students if you're serious about this and if you're serious you want to get into a program but you just need some type of guidance and some type of mentor somebody to call to ask a nursing question Addie and I are trying to start a mentorship program to help those people out if you want to reach out to us we're not going to um, we're going to try to develop it in another two weeks or a month or so because now Addie is, is on an assignment and she is unsure about her assignment right now so um, let me just say give it another month for us to get that going where we're going to um, we're going to share our email where if you're serious about getting into nursing profession and you have questions uh, we're going to be sharing that email where you put those questions that you have below and Addie and I will call you directly uh, either via uh, or I should say either respond via email or if you want to talk to us directly we're going to be sharing um, our numbers with you for somebody that's serious now guys who wants to enter this profession and you know because sometimes I remember when I was in nursing school like I said I you know I had friends I met friends and that's the thing you have to cultivate friendship while you're in the nursing program 
And um, that's the only way that you're going to get through this program smoothly if you cultivate friendship. And you and your friend can probably study together if you, if you that if you like that study buddy situation, and and just somebody to be a comfort when you are having a hard day who can understand exactly what you're going through. And so Eddie and I are trying to be that, be that mentor for somebody. Um, that's serious who wants to go to the nursing program and so that's what we're going to be trying to do guys um, just to help you know help um, potential nurses out and so forth and that's either even if if you're a brand new person who wants to get into nursing or your LPN who wants to become an RN or an RN who wants to get into the higher education where that platform is going to be for you guys who are serious about higher education in nursing so we're going to be starting that like I said in another month or so so you guys can reach out to us and we can surely be a helper to you guys um, I want to say to uh, potential new nurses come on board please um, you know there is one thing you know sometimes when you hesitate too long and one year or two year um, down the line you're gonna think about it again and you're gonna like wait a minute I was thinking about getting into the nurse program and I didn't and guess what you've you've lost two years when you probably could have been an LPN already and that's the and that's the route that Addie and I advocate for for anybody that's coming into the nursing profession and you're not sure I always advocate for the LPN, the Licensed Practical Nurse Program. The program is usually one year, right? And so you're not sure, so you do the LPN for one year, you get your diploma, you go for your um, your NCLEX, and you you know you then now you're licensed to work, right? And so while you're working as a LPN and you're getting that true experience now under your belt, and you're getting that income, that steady income under your belt, then you take your time and go to RN school. And so the transition program from LPN to RN school, I believe, it's a little bit more flexible, guys, because um, you can go to night school, you know. You can go to weekend school. I know a lot of programs here in Florida that, you know, they have night school and weekend school for the LPN to RN, that transition program. And I believe that transition program, um, I'm not going to say easier, but it's it's more, uh, what should I say, workable because you're already working as a nurse now and now you have that experience. And now when you're in the RN program as an LPN, you're going to say, oh, yes, I know what they're talking about. I have experience with that. And so that bridge is easier to navigate than being a brand new um, person who's trying to do the RN for two years. You see what I mean? And so this is what I advocate as, you know, as if you're not, that's if you're not sure. Now for the person who is sure they want to become a nurse, of course, and you can afford it, of course, then go straight ahead and um, go for the RN. But guys, there is nothing wrong by doing the licensed practical nurse program first. That's what um, I advocate most and that that in my experience has been the easiest way that I've transitioned people that I know and um, into this nursing field. So guys, once again, I want to say I don't want to be too redundant, but I want to say thank you. Thank you. Addie and I thank you from the bottom of our heart. We are very appreciative for our subscribers and um, you know, we're growing guys and come on board and grow with us. Okay.